So in this um, video we will go through the Marathon Runner sample of the GPU ECS animation uh, baker. So in this sample you'll see 20,000 different runners all running in a big field from one side to the other. Um, the, at all times there are 20 run, runners in the scene and each time the runner uh, reaches the end it will be put back in the beginning. And also all runners are taken from two different prefabs and they're all uh, randomized in speed and their, their uh, animation is synchronized with their actual movement speed so that there is no foot slipping. So how do we achieve all this? So first of all, let's uh, have a look at the uh, prefabs that it's based on. Let's put them in the scene and let's disable the entities game object. So if we run this now, then we'll be able to uh, see both runners let's displace them a little bit and there we can actually select and see the blend tree that is uh, active on this animation so there are actually three animations defined on this uh, on this running there is a running a sprinting and a walking animation and we blend across the three of them in a simple one dimensional blend going from minus one for walking to zero for running to one for sprinting and both of those uh, blend trees can be applied to both uh, runners the x bot and the y bot so let's take them out of the scene again re-enable this Let's have now a look at the uh, configuration for both runners. So you can see that the configuration is, configuration is actually the same, except for one little detail, that is that in only one of them the enumeration is being selected, and that's simply because we don't need the same enumeration file. We can just reuse uh, one enumeration file for both of them. The animation file is going to look very simple. It's just going to contain the two animation IDs, walk to run and run to sprint. So let's have a look at the particular configuration. So both of those animations are based on the walk to sprint uh, animator state. Uh, that's uh, called here walk to sprint, as you can see. And one will be a dual blend, a dual clip blend over uh, walking to running from minus one to zero. The other will be from zero to one from running to sprinting, both based on the speed parameter. And in the walk to run, we take 10 samples because there's a bit more difference between the walk and the run than there is between the run and the sprint. So where we only take five samples. Once that is generated, uh, we can use it as part of the spawner uh, prefabs. One uh, important thing to note also is that these GPU ECS animators also have a runner behavior, which uh, I added manually in both cases. Uh, and this runner behavior is there to uh, to add the component, the runner state component to the entity, which we will need to make the runner move um, irrespective of the animation. So how does this work? The runner state component has a speed. That will be the speed of the runner. And it will also have a copy of the field size uh, in the z direction and this is necessary to be able to place it back to the beginning when it's reached the end of the field all of this happens in the runner system 
which just has a simple job in there that uh, um, uses the delta time to then calculate the z that needs to be added every frame. So delta times times the runner speed is added every frame and at the end of the field we're putting it back to the beginning. That's all it does. And then uh, what we need next of course is the spawner. The spawner has the size of the field and also the amount of runners, the prefabs attached uh, to the uh, entity. And then we have some information about walk, run and sprint cycle. And these values are the cycle distances uh, for each animation. And we also specify a minimum and a maximum speed. So with this data, we can um, look at the behavior, how it's baked. So we take this cycle distance and we divide it by the walk animation that is also declared. And that will give us the walking speed. It will similarly, it will give us the running speed and the sprinting speed. And we also make sure that the min and the max speed that is provided is not uh, going to be such that the min speed is uh, higher than the walking speed. Uh, so and, it, and the sprinting speed should also be uh, lower than the maximum speed. Uh, maximum speed should never be uh, lower than the sprinting speed. So we add all this data to the component and also the prefabs, very similar to the festival uh, crowd spawner. So this component will be completely filled in along with the dynamic buffer for this one spawner. And then the spawning, uh, the spawner system uh, will have one uh, lookup, transform lookup, set up an uh, entity command buffer. And then we uh, again uh, run a job entity job for each spawner, which of course in this case there will be only one. So what do we do here? We create a random first, a random uh, number generator. And then we go over all the different runners to be spawned, uh, 20,000 of them. We select a random from the available prefabs, those two prefabs that we declared. We uh, instantiate one of them. We place it randomly in the running field at a random position uh, between the defined uh, field sizes. And then of course th they all need to face the same way and the scale needs to be original prefab scale. This is the only reason why we need this lookup here for the transform. And we also select a random speed between that minimum and maximum speed that we defined on the spawner. And here we set those two uh, runner state values on. We set the speed and the field size uh, that we, uh, we need to be able to put the runner back to the beginning. So here we make a copy of that. And then the important part here is the calculation of the blend factor, speed factor, and the uh, to select the right animation. So for that we have to consider four different cases. If the speed of the runner is smaller than the walking speed, that means we have to play the walk animation. So we have to play the uh, walk to run anim animation with blend factor zero. And we have to adjust the speed uh, so that um, the animation is playing slower to match the movement of the walker. So we do that simply by dividing the speed with the walking speed. So in case that the speed is exactly the walking speed, the speed factor will be one and will be, so the animation will be played uh, exactly at the right speed. But if your speed is half the walking speed, then your speed factor will be a half. So it will be uh, playing half as fast. Now when your speed is between the walking speed and the running speed, we will play a blend between walk and run. The speed factor will be one. We'll play it at normal speed, but the blend factor 
will be the relative position between speed walking and speed running. We do that by uh, dividing the speed minus the walking speed uh, with the, the difference between running and walking speed. Now when you're between uh, running and sprinting we do pretty much the same thing. Um, we select the run to sprint animation but then with the blend factor between running and sprinting. And again the speed factor needs to be 1. And then when you're running faster than the sprinting speed then we of course play the sprint animation. So we play the run to sprint with blend factor 1 and the speed factor will be the speed divided by the uh, sprinting speed. So we just speed up the animation. So in principle there is no maximum to the maximum speed we can set. We just keep speeding up the animation. And then we kick off uh, the correct animation. We now that we have all this data, we set the right animation, the blend factor and the speed factor, and we also randomize the start uh, normalized time so to avoid any synchronized running. And we also, of course, destroy the spawner once we've done one spawn to avoid that it would spawn new uh, runners every frame. So all of this uh, makes it so that the runner sample works. One thing we can show also is that uh, how these different systems uh, do their own thing. We can see here now if I select the system Spain um, and I select the runner system and I turn that off you will see that the animations are still working but they're no longer moving and vice versa I can turn the um, no the spawner system I can turn off because there's no spawner anymore anyway that's not going to make any difference but if I turn off the GPU ECS animator system you'll see that the movement is still intact but there's and no more animation and if you turn them both on then everything is running just fine if I turn them both off nothing moves anymore so yeah that's it for the runner uh, sample of the GPU ECS animation baker